Starting at your home page, get to your Update Index page by clicking the Copyright 2009 Teacher Web link at the bottom of the page. Before you can add your own images to your site, you must upload them. You can do this by clicking on the Page Settings tab at the top. Then click File Management on the left menu. Notice you will be informed of how much space you have available at the top of the page. Scroll down to the Upload portion and click Browse. Once you have found your file, click Upload File. You will get a confirmation at the top of the page when your file is uploaded. Once your picture is loaded, you can return to your home page. There are two page types that are great for adding images, Gallery Page and Enhanced Text Page. A gallery page provides a basic, easy-to-use template page for inserting images. Enhanced text pages allow you to insert images as well, but provide much more customization. First, I will show you how to add an image to a gallery page. Once at your gallery page, click the last modified date link in order to update the page. You can give each image a heading or title as well as a description. Next, use the drop-down box next to file name in order to select the image you want displayed. This drop-down box only shows image file types. If you do not see a file here, then you need to upload the file to your site, or you uploaded it as a non-image file type. Next, you can select the position of the image, left or right. To add more images, just click the Add Gallery Image link. Notice you can easily drag and drop to reorder your images. You can also delete images that are no longer needed. Once you have made all of your changes, enter your password and save. The other way to add an image is to use an enhanced text page type. To do this, get to your enhanced text page and click the last modified date link. Use the images drop down box to insert an image. You can also resize images on screen. Just click the corner of the image to resize. Once you have made all of your changes, enter your password and save.